Hi. So I have been, um, apparently I have a message that I need to send out. Um, and I know that because when something comes in my head and I can't let it go, then that spirit telling me that I need to share it. So I've been thinking a lot about trauma and I've had a couple of clients this week, um, talking about trauma and we do such an injustice to ourselves and dishonor ourselves because we compare our trauma. Um, we compare our wounding with other people's and we've been taught in our society, um, especially being a social worker, that trauma is a specific definition and it's saved for big things. Um, you know, like death or abuse or like serious abuse and stuff like that. Um, but the thing is, is I don't think I've ever met anyone who hasn't, doesn't have trauma, who doesn't have wounding. And I think when we compare our trauma or our wounding to other people or compare it to a definition of what um, society says trauma is, we really dishonor ourselves, And that wounded part of us um, feels even more wounded and disowned and abandoned because we're not honoring the fact that we have been traumatized, that... Um, yeah, that we have been traumatized. And I think it's because in our society we teach, you know, you got to be strong and things like that. Um, be tough, muscle through, don't be weak, all of those kinds of things. And so it, there's almost some shame with the fact of admitting that we've been through something. There's almost some shame with the fact of what's wrong with me? Why did this affect me so badly? And so for all of you out there who are like, um, questioning, and this is what I always hear with clients is, well, when we start talking about trauma, they're like, well, I didn't have a bad childhood. The thing is, trauma is, in my definition of trauma, trauma is anything that affects you or brings out negative emotions in you and is not dealt with in that moment. Um, so if you have ever been dumped, traumatic. If you have ever been um, last picked for a team in elementary school, trauma. Um, if you've been yelled at by your parents for, you know, anything, for not cleaning your room, for not getting a good grade, for um, all of those can be trauma. And I think when we compare our trauma, or like I said, measure it up against a definition of trauma, we minimize it. And there's almost like a shame in admitting that. And I know when I started my healing journey, um, after my husband passed, which was trauma and that was acceptable trauma. Um, but I started looking at things and I, I said the exact same thing. I was like, I didn't have a bad childhood. Um, but I remember certain things that I was very affected by. Um, one of which was, I wouldn't say the core, um, but one of which fed my abandonment, a fear of abandonment. Um, my mom came to pick me up and she was late. And that was the first day my sister wasn't at the same school as me. And that triggered in me a feeling of abandonment, of not being worthy, of um, not being lovable, because I felt like, because my sister wasn't there, she was late. I know now, looking back on that situation, and there's no blame on my mom there, but I know now, looking back at that situation, my mom was always late. That's just, and I inherited that trait. So anyone who knows me knows that. Um, but that was traumatic to me and that triggered a lot of stuff in me. And that's something that I had to heal on this healing journey. And it's something that played out in all of my relationships in that came after that, because there was that, um, fear of abandonment, fear of rejection, um, all of that kind of stuff. And so no, that is not textbook trauma. Um, no, that is not something that in from social work that you could get uh, your child taken away for. Um, but to me, it was very traumatic and that required a lot of healing. And again, I say that with no blame on my mom. Um, I say that with uh, forgiveness. I say that with um, an open heart because I have learned that that trauma has affected me and, and I needed to heal that or wanted to heal that. Um, and so I think, like I said, I, like I started this out, when we compare our trauma with someone else's and we go, oh, well, it wasn't that bad, you know, we dishonor that part of us, that wounded part of us that just wants to be heard, wants to be loved, um, 
that that energy needs to be released. And so we really um, kind of hinder our growth and hinder our healing when we do that. So I'm going to say it again. My definition of trauma, and whenever I work with clients, I say this to them. Trauma is anything that you've experienced that has a charge of emotions that has not been dealt with. Um, And lots of times we don't deal with it again because of that societal, oh, be tough, buck up, you know, be strong, all of that kind of stuff. And so not only are we traumatized by the original event, but we're now shaming ourselves and feeling guilty because we have those emotions. So for anybody who is on their healing journey, what you felt is traumatic, honor it. Even if it's not the same as your sibling, it's not the same as other family members, it's not what fits the textbook definition of trauma. Because if you experienced it that way, that's how you experienced it. And there's no shame, there's no guilt, there's, that doesn't make you weaker, that doesn't make you sensitive, that doesn't make you anything. That's just how you experienced it. And I know now from even like now, as an adult and being going through my healing journey for quite some time, there are days when if I'm tired, if I'm hungry, if things are just off or if I'm dealing with something, then I'm a lot easier to be triggered than I am when I'm feeling 100%. And so even as a child, I'm sure that was the same. So like I said, even if your sibling has a different kind of version of what happened, um, that doesn't mean that you can't own that trauma. That doesn't mean that wasn't traumatic to you. So I guess my message here is um, honor your wounds um, because you're only adding more to it. It's like you're scratching the scab off every time that you minimize or compare or go say that I didn't have that bad of a childhood or it's not that bad. Um, And I mean, I know people who know my story, who know that I lost my husband, um, you know, they'll say things like, oh, well, I went through a breakup, which I know is nothing compared to you. Doesn't matter. Um, Your breakup could be just as traumatic or more traumatic to you because that's how you experienced it. And so it all depends on what's happening with you and what's being triggered in you and what wounding you have. And so, again, I'm going to leave with this. Honor your wounds, stop minimizing them, own them, and then you can start that healing process because as soon as you do, as soon as you recognize, um, you can start looking at and get curious about and start healing those and you deserve that. You deserve to have those healed and yeah, so I think that's all I have to say about that. So I wish you all well Um, and if you ever have questions or If you have comments, please leave them. I am happy to respond or I'm happy to have a discussion. Um, Even if you disagree, that's completely fine. Um, Anyway, have a great day.